Watch me stump some goons. Mono, see if you can get those fire trucks in here. No problem. Feels right at home. Oh, no! Sweetheart, you are awesome. Whoever you are. Uh, I want to go home. <laughs> oh, show them, huh? Dog? Where'd you go? Hey, Charlie, we're back. Oh, the place looks great, babe. Any more of that root beer left? So, did you save the city again? Or did you doubt? Hey, not only did we save the city... But we met the single most awesome beggar babe in the entire universe. Look, B. Hey, she looked cool. She looked rad. 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 Oh, really oh, <laughs> oh, boy. A grease pit. You screwed it up again! <laughs> Sorry, boss. Well, I have no time to deal with you now. Plutarch is in desperate need of raw petroleum products. Now get out. Carbuncle! Yes, your mosey man. I need oil. Lots of oil. By Thursday. Hmm. The local refinery should have more than enough your kingly curdledness. <laughs> and I know just the fellow to help us get it. Corona Cody, at your service, partner. Corona Cody has the unique ability to dissolve metal at a touch. That refinery will be slag and flicker. You. You. Hmm. Will this talent of yours work on other metals, like motorcycles? Sure as shoot, partner. Excellent. This looks like the place. All right, partners. Let's start spilling oil. Metallic crash with. Ah! What? A 
didn't know they did a Beatles tune. That's no song. That's a distress call. The indicators say it's coming from the refinery. Let's go. Uh, no dice, John. Mm. This is macho muscle He-Man work. Remember? I noticed you left the part out about brains. Hey, it's for your own good, Charlie. You might get hurt. Say, maybe that masked motorcyclist lady will be there. Oh, yeah. Hey, if she can do it, why can't I? Cute. <laughs> Look, Charlie, we think you're the best motorcycle mechanic this side of Mars. But the masked motorcyclist is really something special. Look, let's face it, sweetheart. It takes some Mondo motorcycle madness to pull off the stunts she does. I hope you're listening to yourself. I'd love to record this. Hey, speaking of recording, you got your camera, Vinny? Oh, you bet, bro. Gotta start chronicling my exploits for posterity. Okay, enough talk, guys. Let's ride! Bunch of wrench heads. I heard you boys don't have much use for doors. My, my, my. Looks like the old gang again, plus one. Ha! I didn't know you could add, bro. Huh. <laughs> I may not know everything about math, but I know how to total things. I think it's time to knock these mangy prairie dogs down the side. Feels like Limburger sitting on me. Say bye bye to the rat race, Mousy. <laughs> Pretended you see something behind me? You won't catch me falling for that old trick. I gotta get some health insurance. <laughs> for me. I can tell. Whoa, ma'am, that's one righteous horse you got. I'd sure like to check out your bike sometime. Wow, what a piece of work. And the driver's not bad either. Time to vaporize them vermin. Wow, that thing's nastier than a shark with a machine gun. Then we better go fishing. Wahoo! You're messing with the baddest man jammers from Mars, you metal meathead! Yeah! What is this? Quit hosting around, fishbag! Ventilate them dang bodies! Keep your hands off at the control! You keep your hands off at Rolling for the big one. Let's make this look good, bro. Come on, I got a babe to impress. Yo, they're gonna ram us. Chicken! <laughs> Cast away, dog. <laughs> Woo, we cooked a live one. Let's get real. <laughs> hey, this one's a keeper. Get us out of here, you idiot! We're too heavy, I gotta dump the load. Wahoo! There she blows! Where's that rocket lever? Dizzy pot! Stop touching things! We gotta get out of here! Dang! Charlie will never believe us about the one that got away. Hey, speaking of which, where's that masked motorcyclist? Oh, oh man, she split again. Oh, maybe I'm just too cool and too handsome and stuff. <sighs> Makes her nervous. Yeah. Or maybe it's just your incredible humility. Mm -hmm. Could be, you know, could be. <sighs> Boy's got an ego bigger than Limburger's rear end. But at least I had this baby running. Let's go strike some prints of my new princess. <laughs> About time. I have other things to do, you know, besides... Oh, yeah. What a night. What a fight. What a dog. What a bike. What a bunch of... So, I suppose Ms. Wonderful was there again tonight. <laughs> was she ever? Yep, that lady can cook all right. But you know, one thing makes me curious. How does the masked motorcyclist always know? Oh, hey, these things are cold. Well, excuse me. Maybe you should ask your hot bimbet buddy to warm them up. 
Oh, holy moly. Something we said? Failure again. If I don't obtain a vast quantity of oil soon, the high chairman will render it from my hide. I must find another source of oil. Uh, you mean like an oil field, Buzz? Mmm, oil. Crude oil. <gasps> I've got it! An oil field! I'll go straight to the source. Yes! Truly, I am a genius. <laughs> yes, yes. Carbuncle! Have you bellowed your malodorousness? I'd like an oil field, Carbuncle. All of it. No problem, old rounded one. As a matter of fact, I have just this moment imported Corroda Cody's Rustmobile. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. It should enable us to destroy every derrick in an oil field, creating a huge spill for you to <gasps> suck up and ship to Plutarch. Excellent. And if those blasted biker mice send their cycle sidekick barge in again, them hombres will see how much fun their pretty pipes are when they're nothing but puddles of slag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That mass motorcyclist is a mean motorcycle mamma jamma, huh? <laughs> Heck, she's almost as cool as me. <laughs> almost. Oh, your move, Vincent. And <laughs> no way she could just jump that bike of hers. Jump, 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 jump. Hey, that was my last man. You think that's jumping? Watch this. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump! <laughs> Who says Chinese checkers is a quiet game? I've noticed that none of the games we play are quiet. I hope we didn't wake up Charlie. Nope. Still asleep. Hey, what's that? That's Moore's code. What's it say, Moto? It says... Beep, 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 beep. Wait, she wants us to follow her. Yeah, I'll follow her anywhere. Oh, sweetheart! Ooh, should we tell Charlie we're going? Nah, she's out like a light. Let's keep it that way. Let's rock and ride. Hey, it's the biker mice. And that itty friend of theirs. That guy's rose. All the oil in the world won't stop his rust. Get to work, Cody. Greasefoot and I will handle these wretched rodents. You got it. Y'all keep them busy. And me and Rusty will take out the main derrick. Once that thing blows, y'all gonna have more oil than you ever imagined. <laughs> Monsters ain't so slick. Come on, guys. Uh, and, and you too, man. Yeah, 
Yeah, you could shred with the best of them, babe. Heads up, bros. Cody's almost to the main Derek. We best take our leave. When that Derek blows, the resulting wave of oil will wash away these vermin for good. <laughs> now, let's give old Grease Pit a barrel of laughs. <laughs> we'll have him rolling. Oh, yeah, take this, Mousy. <laughs> I don't think this would be a good time to ask Mr. Limboy to get a raise. Well, that should hold him for a while. Bros, look! Oh, no. Charlie, Charlie, wake up! It's the masked motorcyclist. She's hurt. Her helmet's melted. Come on, we're trying to get it off. We need your help. Charlie! Whoa! Charlie? Hi, guys. Surprise! Charlie! But, but, she, but she was, you are... I'm just ordinary, huh? Would just get in the way. Wasn't that how you put it? Uh-oh. Hey, you could have told us. I did tell you, you adorable fur brains, but you never listen. It was my new prototype bike for Washington. I figured I could test it out <laughs> and prove something to you lummoxes at the same time. Well, you did that all right. Me and my big mouth. Yep. Your foot fits inside it very well, if I do say so. Hey, we owe you a big apology, babe. At least. But Charlie, I, I mean, the reason we didn't want you with us is because you might get hurt, and you did. I don't want you getting hurt. Moto, you and the guys all run risks. The point is, I didn't get hurt because I'm a woman. I got hurt because I did something dangerous. Oh, ah. And I think I'll retire for a while. Well, you still proved your point. I guess none of us should judge a book by its cover. Even if it is leather-bound. Please. Say, but what about Limber? It's a shame to think he'll get away with all that destruction. Now, on the way back, I sent him a package. Special delivery. Oh, what's this? No! No! I should get into a new line of work.